must notify manager to use restroom. Before I get into the story, I realize there are jobs where notifying your boss when you leave your desk or post is a normal practice. However, that was not the case at this job. We had top secret clearances, and handled collateral secret equipment and sensitive encryption key material on a regular basis. They assumed we were adults and generally treated us as such. Also, the fallout isn't juicy, sorry, but the story is funny to me. I was an airman in the Air Force working in COMSEC. It's difficult to fully explain this job to people who have never done it, but the short version is glorified inventory management with penalties for messing up including but not limited to prison time. We were working out of a temporary facility and not all of us in COMSEC could fit in the secure room. So, we were spread out in multiple offices. Myself and my direct supervisor shared a small office, while my NCOIC, manager, was in a different one. One day, I did what all civilized humans do at least once a day, and went to use the restroom. I came back, my supervisor said Sergeant Smith, I honestly don't remember my her, NCOIC, name, was looking for you. So, I went to her office. Me. Yes ma'am, you wanted to see me. Her. Why weren't you at your desk? Me. I was just using the restroom, ma'am. Her. You need to be at your desk at all times, and when you're not, you need to let me know. Me. Yes ma'am. At the time besides email for computer communication, we were using Skype. It was common practice in that office to send quick messages to each other over Skype. So, I made sure to let her know every time I left my desk using Skype just as she ordered me to. Every bathroom break. Every drink from the water fountain. I even notified her I was leaving my desk to come talk to her after she told me to come talk to her. Every. Single. Time. I left my desk, she was notified. Me. Mom, I getting up from my desk to grab a Form 16 from the printer. Her. Why are you using a printer in a different room? Me. I'm not, but I have to leave my desk to retrieve it. That was the last straw. She had enough. She told me to stop telling her when I leave my desk except when I leave for lunch. This also belongs on our, malicious compliance. We had top secret clearances, and handled collateral secret equipment and sensitive encryption key material on a regular basis. Now, we know you officially can't comment on the aliens, but if you were to scratch your ear that wouldn't be confirming their existence. It er uh, sounds like they really wanted you in that chair. I er uh, hope you were only forced to do that for a short time. They assumed we were adults and were treated as such. You know somebody singed your boss area of control and you just happened to not be immediately available. High tech world. Had to burn my freebie award, it's yours. For service mainly but the smiles too. Enjoy. I once worked in a similar environment. We had separate little offices with a door and a table. A guard would escort you down the hall to your assigned office and close the door behind you he sat at a desk at the end of the corridor. If you needed to leave he would come get you and escort you out. I never saw anyone else working in the area and I wasn't meant to. It was all very secure. Ha ha I love seeing stuff like this. The only way I'll ever notify someone that I'm going to the bathroom is if I'm taking a shower with them. I'm sorry, I can't leave my desk to get this critic signed. It can just wait until I get permission from my supervisor. 40 years I've been asking permission to piss. I can't squeeze a drop without say so. Read the Shawshank Redemption. I had this with a male boss. He told me not to leave my desk because he was expecting a call from Trevor. Three hours later I really had to go to the loo and made a dash for it. Of course, Trevor called while I was in the bathroom. Boss went ballistic. He shut up bloody fast when I told him I had sat at my desk for just over three hours, I needed to pee and change my pad before I bled through it onto my office chair, and I did not appreciate his tone. I then calmly called Trevor back, apologized for just missing his call, who was super chill, and put the call through. I beg to differ, the fallout was juicy as a direct hit on a Caprisson factory. Great MC but, why are you calling an NCO, ma'am? Do they not give you the whole, don't call me sir, ma'am? I work for a living, spiel in the Air Force. As a jet engine mechanic Air Force veteran, I loved this story. Reminds me of a couple of my supervisors. Obligatory thank you for your service. Mom, to a sergeant, edit, till the Air Force has its own set of customs. My boss asked me if I had any medical condition and I said yes. I will piss myself if I don't get to the restroom ASAP. No questions asked. I can run from the procedure room to the potty if needed. Save scrubs cleaning fees. Muz fucking sucks. Extra undies in my lab. 
I don't get shit for my one smoke break because I literally deal with shit all day and nobody wants an angry nurse. My sunshine and happiness wanes when I pee myself a bit. T.S. Bathroom. Relt Sergeant Smith. I'm going to the bathroom. Hey. So I lost the hand receipt. Also there's 19 memorandums for the record because our new co-pilot is really bad at the forms. Sorry. Lel. Going to prison for messing up military grade inventory management, but using Skype as an internal messenger. Classic. For me this is textbook malicious compliance. Well done. Thanks for the chuckle. Her. Why are you using a printer in a different room? Me. I'm not, but I have to leave my desk to retrieve it. This is gold. Well done. I did something very similar when working at a factory that demanded I document all downtime in excess of two minutes. If the boss came over to complain, I stopped and filled out a downtime incident for his visit. He did not like it. When I worked inside prison gates, you told your partner where and when you were going anywhere. It saved me one time from a beatdown. My manager took it a step further and said I need to ask permission before I go. To this day I still beat myself up for not recording that interaction and getting a slam dunk lawsuit. Can you tell us where aliens play into creation yet or are we still waiting on cosmic clearance? I realize this may be a joke but cosmic clearance is above top secret. And very real. Explain to them the expected viscosity of any upcoming poops. Give them a rough estimate on time and amount of wiping required. We had top secret clearances, and handled collateral secret equipment and sensitive encryption key material on a regular basis. At the time besides email for computer communication, we were using Skype. Fearful face. I have to work with COMSEC often enough, and also am on the program to deal with encryption keys as a 22 specialist, so I know how some of NCOICs can be. Absolute melon heads, if you ask me. She wanted to play stupid games but she wasn't ready for all the gifts you sent her. For shame. I wish I did this when my supervisor was straight up harassing me at my old job. She would regularly and loudly tell me how long I was in the bathroom in front of people. She did this even after I told her I had stomach issues. Not IBS. I'm undiagnosed, but I've got something going on that causes me to take a little longer. Either way, it wasn't even her business, but I thought it would make her stop. It didn't. I'm out of that situation now, but I'm still hypervigilant and anxious about supervisors today, even when I have no need to be. I just want to shit in peace and do my job. I hope you also notified her when you were back at your desk. I had a job like that, where my employer developed a palm, really, apt to figure out what I did all day. 11 o'clock 11.10, took shit. Lol what the fuck I'm assuming you were in a SCIF. Even in there this is stupid and micromanaging. Well done on the MC. Oh snap comsec people. Did you guys use cards at all? I used to do bug testing and general IT stuff for the company that made it and seem to remember setting up a few servers for the Air Force. Is there some security reason for her attitude? Well done you. Ah, Air Force. This is exactly why as fuck wanted me out ASAP. I was an NCOIC, but I went straight in as an officer, trying to pay off those med school loans with that sweet GI Bill money so I found most of the rank culture, politics to be, unnecessary, and I primarily was doing surgeries at Madigan, so I DGAF what anyone did as long as they did their jobs and nobody died. I once visibly confused some E1-E3s that were supposed to shadow me for the day when they saluted me and I told them, knock that shit off, we're on post, in an OR, I know you're not a threat. Well, I had a co-worker who kept a spreadsheet on how long people spend time in office restroom. Face with rolling eyes poor little Calamero. A true patriot right here folks. Power tripping, leader, in the USAF. Color me shocked. As a former army dude, I can't get over the fact you guys call NCOs mom, sir. That'll get you smoked in the army. My god how petty. Nothing better to do. Malcompliance for sure. The fallout was pretty satisfying. Nothing nuclear, but damn good. Retail manager here. This just pissed me off. I'm cackling. I have Crohn's disease, which, if you don't know, often involves rapid onset diarrhea and hauling ass to the nearest bathroom. When I was undiagnosed and untreated, this would happen 10 plus times a day, and if I was at the desk, at a hotel, I wouldn't really notify anyone or I'd yell on my way out because if you have 30 seconds to get to a bathroom you ain't spending 5 of them getting someone's attention. I got a fair amount of shit from my boss and ended up having to get a doctor's note saying, let Caro Aurelia use the bathroom when needed, but now I realize I should have gone the malicious compliance route. I'm getting this question a lot. 
It goes something like, holy hell, you called your NCOIC mom and didn't die from push-up poisoning. I'm a little rusty on my Air Force regulations, but I think it used to be AFI 36 2618 that said calling higher ranking individuals sir, mom was acceptable in most situations. I know it's weird to the rest of the US military, but it's normal for Air Force. That's so stupid. What difference does it make to know that you just went to poop? Gbus H. Christ. Using Skype and you work in COMSEC.